Just be wandering around here, friend. Not a thing happens around here without an O'Driscoll saying so. Understand me? That's it. Off your trot. It'll be short. That's it. Shit.
Don't be. Be fine. One of us now. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. How are you? Covered from that business in the hotel? Oh, yeah. So we gonna hit that bank I told you about? We'll see. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning? Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. When I was in Valentine, nosing about, I think I found something interesting. What's that, Tilly? Well, I'm not exactly sure. Something about the doctor's office. There's something funny going on there. Saw a bunch of nasty boys going in and none of them coming out. Hmm. Thank you. Maybe I'll go take a look. Anything else? No. Just that. Well, keep looking. Will do. Wars, stupidity, lies. Who makes this crap up? Why are we having a war with the goddamn Philippines? Who cares about the Philippines? What even are the Philippines? Just the biggest load of nonsense yet.
Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. You borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, nah, the Kaiserreich. I don't ja? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Uh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. No. Yeah. yeah. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. God damn it, you have a debt to hair Strauss. Pay up! Stop! Już nie mam siły. Yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. Better be something somewhere. They're very valuable. Good? Not good yet. Speak English. You must have come here with some. should about cover things.
Coming in. Hope you had a good old time while I've been stuck standing here. What you up to? Nothing much. Well, there's plenty of work to do around here. Sure, Morgan. Okay, boy. Let's go. Miss Karen, how you getting on? Hey, Arthur! What you want? Oh, man, you one sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Only when I see you. Come oh, on, only when I see you. <laughs> How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Thank you, Mr. Morgan, for sparing me like that. I'll work hard. I am not a bad fella. You'll soon warm to me. Just see that I do. Oh, you will. Boy. Hmm? Thank you for saving my life. Well, yeah, of course.
Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Okay, boy. Oh. Yeah. I rode as fast as I could, didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off it. What were you boys doing? You are supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Micah. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down, then head back, okay? Okay. Now... I should warn you, me and a couple of the other boys we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur.
Just one or two. Right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You! I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Micah... A lot Micah... of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. Oh, they're dullards! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. But me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just, just trying to be friendly. <laughs> oh. Mm. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's great, partner. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? I'm a friend. You know where we went? No idea. Ready? Hey, you see my friend anywhere? Oh, sorry. No idea. Hey, Lenny! You see that fella I was with? Wouldn't know. Hey. <laughs> hey, buddy. your mouth, mister. Oh! 
Lenny, stop slumping off on me! Do I look like a Lenny to you? Been looking all over for you, Lenny. Uh. Lenny, where are you hiding now? There you are, Lenny. I'm Clyde. You got the wrong fella. Not again.
Watson! Get out of here. Come on. What's the hold up? I... Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but seeing I do just fine. You want to step outside or deal with business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. How's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down, then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Uh, life is a challenge to all of us. I'll call. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll check. He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game, after all, mister. I'll happily take all that off your hands. There you go. Pile of crap. Not looking good. <laughs> For Christ's sakes. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Let's go. You lucky son of a bitch. Now, <laughs> this is finally getting fun. Wish I'd got your friend to bless my hand before he passed out. Good. Check. I check. Let's start this low for now. I'm gonna see you. Not for me. Nah. I don't think. So what are we looking at, fellas? Don't laugh. Okay, well, <laughs> it ain't much. You gotta be kidding me. It all counts, huh?
You're gonna have fun getting him home. I wish I'd asked that drunken fool to bless my card before he passed out. I'll call. No way. Hmm, I'll take it. Shit, when am I gonna get a good look in here? Not your day, is it? See you. Check. Check. You should just go play checkers the amount you check. Nothing. That's more like it. Well, okay. Let's see what each of us is made of. On the inside, I mean. Now we got a game going. Huh. Sure. Okay, then. Okay. Okay. Gonna start small here. Nah. Here. You okay with that? You got him. Bullshit. Hmm. <laughs> nice. This is... Oh, damn. That's the way it goes. Do us both a favor and shut up. This has been quite the eventful day. Could have been worse. Weak. Check for me. Let's start this low for now. Is that it? Garbage. <whistles> ah, I'll take it. It's starting to annoy me. I check. Here. Call. Okay, then. I'm a call. Good. Uh, no. 
How about that? Call. Huh, <laughs> pathetic. I'm gonna go all in. He's bluffing. There. So close. Woo! Damn it. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Shit. Guess that's the end of that. Sorry about that. You worry about your own game. Ain't this a fine old time? The best. I'm going all in. My guess is you're bluffing. All right, what do we got? Have a look at these. Ouch. Seriously? Damn it. <laughs> well, gentlemen, time to move along. Aw, oh, hell. You're one lucky son of a bitch, you know that? Oh, I'm surely a son of a bitch, but lucky? <laughs> I ain't so sure. Come on, you. Let's move along. Where is he? Who? The Reverend, where'd he go? I don't know. Ah, oh, shit. Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, <laughs> smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. Off him. Say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now. You son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Oh my god, you killed him. I'm gonna get the law on you. Simple mistake. You can still be safe. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here. 
twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Get it! Come on! <laughs> 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 You. What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <laughs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... <sighs> One for the road. Hey, shot it back there. I was wondering when he'd show up. <laughs> you better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just usual. Poor <coughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. 